what I'm doing today is step one of my super, super dark backyard. Uh, I guess there's kind of two things real quick. As an update, I am now kind of rearranging some things. So the good stuff, the next products, the carbon earth products, whatever products that are, you know, considered, I don't know, what I would call high quality, basically anything you can buy from Yard Mastery, essentially. Um, I'm gonna be using those products in the back. Uh, and the back is where I'm real mowing. The back is, um, you know, the place I wanna give the most attention because it's flat, it's, it's you know, fairly flat anyway. Um, but that's where the kids play, that's where we hang out, blah, blah, blah. In the front yard, which as you know, I've talked about a billion times and shown you, it's a pretty steep hill. It's not really a fun place to hang out or spend time. Um, so that, I'm going to switch to a four-step program on that. I haven't decided who's four-step, if it's going to be like a Scott's or like Lowe's version or Baumgart's version or, you know, maybe even like Jonathan Green. Um, I say maybe Jonathan Green because you have to order that stuff online where something like the Baumgart's or the Menard's or Lowe's, that stuff I can just get and just go, you know, for a five-minute drive. Um, <clears throat> Anyway, so that's that's the plan from now on, because uh, I already don't irrigate the front. Um, I don't plan to, so I'm gonna keep keep it tall. Um, and in the back, I'm going to get some sprinklers, do a couple things with that. Not a sprinkler system, because I can't do that right now, but um, anyway. So that's kind of an update on that. So this 24 pound bag of Carbon X, I was gonna spread out over my entire uh, I was going to say 10,000 square feet, but it's actually more like 12,000 square feet after I remeasured. Um, it's actually just barely over 12,000. Another reason why I'm doing this, I don't want to have to get enough product because um, stuff like RGS Aerate, all that stuff, I can stretch that out. But things like Green Punch or you know granular fertilizers, you can't really stretch that out too much because uh, then you're just not getting enough down and then you get like... You know, the same the stuff I'm seeing on my lawn right now, uh, which is just, it's not getting enough nitrogen. But I'm trying to spoon feed, uh, but then I'm also kind of limiting it because I want to spread the product out over a huge amount of space. Um, so what I'm going to, do, going to do today is I'm going to be putting Carbon X over 4,000 square feet, which is the backyard, <clears throat> and I'm going to be doing two pounds per thousand square feet. So I'm only going to use eight pounds which means I can get two applications out of this bag. Uh, my last fertilizer application was two weeks ago, but that was also um, X Green, which I did a super, super low rate of. I basically got like 0.16 pounds of nitrogen uh, four weeks after my uh, 0.4 pounds of nitrogen. And in cool season turf, it's just not enough. Uh, I'm sure it could be, and I'm sure there's people that are gonna disagree with that, um, but uh, you know, 0.4 pounds of nitrogen sure that's enough if you're doing that once every you know two three weeks but if you're doing it once every four weeks that's just not sustainable um ah, a little humid i'm sorry um so what i'm going to be doing is putting down carbon x two pounds per thousand it's going to give me uh just barely under 0.5 so i think it's like 0.47 or something pounds of nitrogen which is going to give a huge boost to the lawn uh, which it desperately needs because it, I mean, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you've been seeing my pictures um, probably, and the lawn is just not looking very happy. Uh, it's looking okay, but it's blotchy and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's step one. Uh, and then in a couple days, I'm going to be putting down my RGS, um, or actually tomorrow, I'm going to be putting down my RGS, then I'm going to follow that up with some microgreen. And then depending on if it's going to rain this weekend, I'm also going to be putting down green effect. Now I know, I know, okay, that's a lot. But I'm going to be putting down green effect at six ounces per thousand, um, just for the iron, not necessarily for the nitrogen. Either way, six ounces, even nine ounces per thousand, that's not even a ton of nitrogen. Um, and then the microgreen, that's going to give me the double dark, uh, and I'll do a whole video on that. Um, Okay, well that's what I'm doing today. Uh, I have to kind of play with the spreader to see. Uh, actually, that's something else I want to do real quick. Okay, bags open, step one.
Okay, so X Green smells really good. Lorganite smells pretty good. This does not smell good. <laughs> this just smells like a fertilizer. Um, it kind of smells like dirt and X Green, but like the dirt is full of fertilizer. <laughs> Synthetic fertilizer. You know how that has its own smell. Um, but let me let me bring you up right, right quick. Okay, so you've probably seen it already, but there it is. So everyone says it looks like uh, cookies and cream, and it kind of does. Um, the stuff I've seen, like pictures and videos of the white, looks brighter. But uh, this is the new formulation, so I don't know if the peptides or the RRP technology is now. Then that version is just a little bit darker, not so white, bright white, but that's okay. So um, I'm going to spread this, and I'm not going to record that because this video has been long enough, and you know how I spread stuff. So um, in this, this case, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I will, um, like I said, I'm going to do another um, thing when I do the liquids there. So, um, you know, you'll get to see that. And I'm also going to do an update uh, on the lawn. Uh, so we can see what it looks like. Um, once I do, before I do the liquids tomorrow, I'm going to do a walk around when it's not so windy so we can see the color. Uh, so then we can do a really good comparison to the color in a couple weeks. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching me talk. Uh, if you like this video or other videos, go ahead and like this video. If you love the video or other videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Um, and like I said, go ahead and leave me some comments down below. I, I love to hear from you. I'd love to know your opinion. If I'm doing something, if you think I'm doing something stupid, let me know. If you think I'm doing something good, let me know. Um, but anyway, I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video.